Hey everyone, thanks again for joining on Seward for Good. Today we're going to take a step back in time, unfortunately, and flag some situations that have come to light recently. 2021, I cannot believe we're still talking about this, but you'll see this photo now that's come up on screen. This is now, this is happening right now. So tell me what's wrong with it. We've got a wet area system, we have a liquid membrane, we have a bitumen sheet applied on top of that liquid membrane, which needs a bitumen primer to bond the sheet to the liquid. Those bitumen primers are solvent based. And then we stick the sheet on top of the liquid. Now, before that even gets tiled, we're gonna have a situation where you have a breakdown of the liquid membrane. Now, I'm bringing this up because you might recall some years ago, we brought up a situation where there was a company that went out of business, but the trail of disaster that was left where bitumen membranes were used in combination with liquid membranes in wet areas and failed. And there's been a number of builders that we've been helping out with and contractors around Victoria and Queensland predominantly where these failures occurred. And the damage is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars when you have to add up all the areas that have been damaged bathroom is pulled out and then reinstated. Now, if you want to research any of these manufacturers, they'll give you their specification. What's wrong with this application? Well, firstly, we have to question the applicator what was he or she thinking? Because unless it's a specification by that bitumen sheet membrane for that wet area, then it is wrong. Now, we've got to ask ourselves, okay, maybe the applicator was told they could do that. Well, then we've got to question the manufacturer and or supplier. Now, like I said, the manufacturer doesn't state these applications in their TDSs, but if a supplier's told them to go and do that, then that raises even more eyebrows. And then we've got trades like the tiler that come on afterwards. Surely you ask a question. Now have a look at that photo closely. You can see a liquid membrane, possibly not even 4858 approved. You've got a bitumen primer on top of the liquid membrane. Then you've got a sheet that's gone on top of that. And then another liquid to tie up all the joints. Three products between probably, I'm not sure how many different manufacturers are there, but where's the warranty? Seriously, someone's wearing this. And like I said, you've got the applicator, you've got the supplier, you've got the tiler, and then more importantly, which is the point I really want to raise here, is the builder. Surely someone's supervising these sorts of works and looks at it and goes, is that right? We've got a bitumen sheet. Now, I want you to find any tile adhesive manufacturer in this country that would warrant their tile adhesives on top of that bitumen. And you can see the traces of bitumen on the outskirts of that sheet that's on the floor. Now the problem is, bitumen being a solvent-based system will break down those membranes. It'll weaken them. We did an episode on this last year where we showed how solvent-based polyurethanes impact a water-based liquid membrane. And I'm gonna do it again with an episode with our guys showing how a bitumen, solvent bitumen, and how the reaction is with a liquid membrane and the impact it has. Guys, I would love to get the conversation going on this. We might even extend this one into our next live with our Facebook lives and Instagram lives and our LinkedIn one. But more importantly, start to have the conversations now. There are obviously people out there that need help, that don't know the right way of doing things. If you do know the right way, help them. Guide it along, have that multiplier effect, let's lift this industry, let's expand on it, and let's improve it. Because this is not waterproofing Australia in 2021. I'll see you next time on Silver Good.